Mental health begins in childhood, and research has shown that serious behavioral issues and conflicts are prevalent features in many a modern classroom. So where better to turn one's focus than to childhood, where it all begins? One of Carmen's most celebrated projects targets the nation's youngest. They call it simply Dream a World. To some, it may seem little more than an elaborate fantasy. Young and impressionable children conjuring up their own ideal world, momentarily escaping the realities of a much harsher existence. But this seemingly innocent exercise is much more than mere child's play, and is the outcome of a groundbreaking project firmly rooted in science and academic research. Since 2006, the Dream a World Cultural Therapy Program has offered a new outlook for scores of children who previously struggled to thrive in a traditional educational environment. Many children in our inner cities grow up with one parent. There is their, they grow up with poverty. They grow up with domestic abuse. They grow up with sexual abuse. They grow up, with, grow up with, fi with physical abuse, like floggings and beatings. The Dreamer World process seeks to reframe the mindset of youngsters who bear the emotional scars of a society plagued by violence, conflict, and dysfunctional behavior. Many of the children that we see identify that by the time they're age five or six, they have seen dead bodies in the street, people, people killed in the street. You only find this in war. You're looking at as much as 40% of our childhood population that has some form of mental distress. The problem being is that while adults will present with symptoms that you can readily identify, children present with symptoms that can be explained as bad behaving or poor academic performance. For the pilot project, Held at Almond Town Primary in Kingston's inner city, 30 students aged 8 to 9 years old were identified as high risk based on their very poor academic record and extremely disruptive behavior. Up to then, the children's chances of passing Jamaica's GSAT High School entry exam in two years were considered to be slim. That would soon change. For three consecutive summers, students were guided in three-week workshops and then regular refresher sessions throughout the term. Here, they were taught novel ways of coming to grips with their conflicts without the need for traditional methods of behavioral control or harsh punishments. Here, at last, a non-threatening environment that successfully engaged the interest and trust of its young participants, where there were no more hierarchies, but everyone was given importance. This is a, a magical thing to get children to work in a circle, because once you get children and their teachers to sit in a circle, the dynamic of the, of the communication absolutely changes between the children and the, and the teacher. They learn to control their impulse. They learn to speak in turn in the group. There is, it deals with the problems of authority and authority management. Dream a World is grounded in psychotherapy, but incorporates cultural therapy and the arts as the vehicle to allow children to process past and present trauma. This is the first step to changing their outlook, themselves, and in the long run, their society. A highlight of the program is the invitation to journey into the imagination, to invent fictional planets, animals, and plants to one's own liking, 
and to eliminate any negatives that may be present in real-world existence. Following these exercises and using art, music, and drama, the children are able to heal their anguish and express hopes for a world free of violence, aggression, and domestic instability. All these kids had some form of complex trauma. The Dream a World activity helped them to exteriorize their complex trauma and put their complex trauma into a song, into a, into a, a, a skit. And therefore, once you do that, it takes the sting out of the, the complex trauma. The dreaming process is then a tool for indirect social re-engineering. And the result over the life of the program, a demonstrated transformation in behavior and academic performance, renewed confidence and self-worth. By the end of the pilot, all 30 children not only passed the GSAT examinations, but earned places in accredited high schools. Compared to a control group elsewhere in the school, the Dreamer World children showed superior improvement in academic performance and behavior over the period of the study. And what I've seen, which has impacted on me, is actually the alleviation of a sense of despair and hopelessness in our teachers when we started working with them to one of amazement and excitement about doing their jobs. And I think that itself speaks volumes to the level of productivity that this project can impact on the nation as a whole. Since then, the dream has spread. The project was scaled up to include four other inner city schools. And recognizing the potential, Jamaica's Ministry of Education introduced an adapted version of the model for select groups of children in 35 schools across the island, incorporating the methodology into the delivery of the standard curriculum. It's hardly surprising that in 2013, Dream a World won the International Turning the World Upside Down Mental Challenge. The competition celebrates innovative ideas from low- and middle-income countries with potential for successful application in more developed economies. Well, I think all children have problems. So I think Dream World will be applicable for all children because it helps a child achieve their true potential. In other words, it gives them a, a tool to develop themselves, both academically and socially. So it's applicable to every child. Something that's homegrown, something that's Jamaican, something that we, we have made ourselves, yeah? If we can institutionalize it in all our primary schools, then we will transform this whole society within three to five years. Because what it will mean is that we will, instead of having 40% of bad behaving children coming out of the primary schools and underperforming kids, we'll maybe have two or three percent. We can manage that. Carrie Mensah, turning the world upside down. It all begins with a dream. The hopes and dreams of the Dreamer World children take center stage when we come back. The sun rises on the blessed lands of our ancestors. Sun-kissed children of the Caribbean awaken, strengthened by a brutal past, with your abiding faith, go, take your place at the center of the world, you, we, me. This is UE TV. The Dreamer World program offers a lifeline to youngsters who are living the consequences of a challenging daily reality. On a final note, we join the children who will share their hopes and dreams for a different kind of future.
My shoes were shining, I'm a cocky press. Boy, we're a cocky girl, we're a dress. Nine more, nine, nine, nine more, nothing less. Call me one hundred in a red dress. Now I make my shame, I make sure you smart. Now I make sure you young. No, 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 no,